Hey guys, welcome back to the AtHome.YouTube YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joe, and today we're in the kitchen making something absolutely fantastic. Today, I really needed strawberry jam for an upcoming top secret project. So I figured out while I was doing it, I would show you all the easiest way to make delicious, vibrant strawberry jam at home. And if you want to see what that top secret project is, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's dive right in. All right, friends, so as you can see here on the counter, as always, we have a really simple list of just pure vibrant ingredients. We're gonna start with one lemon. You only need one lemon in total. We're only gonna use the zest off this one, and this is actually just the juice of one lemon. So if you only have one lemon in total, that's just fine. We're also gonna use one pound of strawberries, and these have had the centers cut out, and then they've been chopped up, and we have one and a half cups of sugar. So to get started, we have this really small pot over here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the strawberries right into the pot. Then we're going to take and add the sugar right on top. And of course, the lemon juice is next. And now we're going to take our microplane or any other grater you have, and we're just going to take the zest off the lemon right on top of the sugar. Now we're going to put it on low heat, and I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it. We're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and take the lid off. All right, friends, so it's been 10 minutes. And as you can see, not much has really happened, but we have started to take a lot of liquid out of the bottom of the strawberries. So what we're hoping for is now we can stir everything together and let it start slowly cooking and coming together. Now that the liquid started to come out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the lid because we want this liquid to cook off so that it can get nice and syrupy and sticky. Some people mash their strawberries. Personally, I like to just dice mine up. That way they can look nice and fresh once the jam's cooked. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about another 10 more minutes with the lid off at a low simmer. So I am gonna turn the heat up to a level two and come back in about 10 more minutes. We are back and we've been on the heat now for a total of about 20 minutes and as you can see this is starting to simmer quite well. There's a lot of juice really forming now. So this is fantastic. We're gonna let the juice reduce down and concentrate a lot of that flavor. So we're gonna let this continue to simmer and once it starts getting thick we need to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn. So we'll be right back. Now that this is starting to get nice and syrupy though, it is important that we start raking the bottom and edges more and more often. Because as the water cooks out of it, it is concentrating the sugars and it gets more and more likely to burn. We are back and as you can see here, it's starting to get nice and syrupy. It's been simmering for quite a while now. And we're gonna go ahead, I have a cold plate coming straight out of the freezer. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this, pour it on there and see if it sets. And as you can see, it runs quite a bit. So that lets us know that the strawberry jam is not ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean this plate, put it back in the freezer, and we're gonna go back to a time lapse of this cooking down still. It's been simmering now for about a total of 50 minutes or so. And as you can see, it's starting to get really thick, so we have our frozen plate again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of the liquid on there. And as you can see, it's getting really close to staying. So that lets us know that we're pretty much ready. I'm gonna give this just a few more minutes cooking here over super low heat, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. So we're back, and we just turned the heat off, and it's cooked for about a total of an hour and 10 minutes here. And so we're gonna go ahead and let it sit and cool down for about 10 more minutes. We can tell that it's finished because it's thickened up quite nice. And going onto the cold plate, it has a nice, thick, rich nature to it. Uh, you, as you can see, most of the liquid's cooked out of it here, and it does have that jam-like viscosity, although it will thicken up quite a bit once it cools down. If you do have a candy thermometer, you can test it. You're looking for about 220 degrees, and that'll also be a key indicator that it's finished. But for now, we know that we're solid. We're gonna go ahead and let it cool down and we'll be right back. We've given this just a few minutes to cool down here. It's still really hot, but we're gonna go ahead and pour it over into a jar. I'm not gonna be canning this. I'm just gonna store it in the refrigerator because as I mentioned earlier, I will be using it for a very special project soon. This is really hot, so make sure you don't spill this on yourself. As you can see there, you have this sweet, shiny, sticky jam. 
We are back and it is the following day. I thought I would go ahead and show you the texture of the jam after it's cooled down or refrigerated all night. And as you can see here, it still has some nice chunks of fresh strawberry in there, but it's nice and smooth and spreadable, but not too thick and sticky. All right, guys, so that wraps us up on how to make strawberry jam. Comment below and let me know how yours turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for that special project.